Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to talk about an application that enables you to launch applications or even interact with your device while doing things using the sides of your screen. Let's check it out. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is download and install the application itself. You can download it from the thread. I'll give you guys a link below the uh, video right here. Or you can go to the Google Plus uh, community, join it, and then you'll be able to download the beta straight off of the Google Play Store. Other than that, we'll go ahead and start up the application itself. The interface is pretty clean, pretty simple, one page, no others. Uh, tells you first that the surface is not running. You click it, it turned on, now it's running. You can choose to either A, show it in your notification panel, or not show it. I prefer not to. Of course, it's recommended to have it to start on boot, because as you know, when you restart a device, not all services will start up at the same time. This is the middle section where you can get to customize the actual action bars and we'll get to that in a second. Uh, developer, uh, I want to, hopefully I'm not messing it, Paolo Spagnoli. Uh, you can obviously vote for the application once you're part of the beta, contribution and tutorials. Those are all still in uh, construction or they're coming. The main thing you want to do is customize the area itself. You have three sections where you're able to show the bars. You have the bottom, right and left. Um, so, and I've already selected the two. Actually, also by default, those two are already turned on. The bottom one I find a little bit hard to connect because a lot of times you have your, uh, you know, your hotkey, your hot apps in there, and sometimes you might, you know, hit the, the bar by mistake. So, uh, the other thing is you can do here, as you can see, you, you have the ability to turn it on, but I don't. You have the ability of customizing the size of it, and if you want to make it stronger, you just show it in and you move it in or out. So, overall, very much I kept them both at the same level. You go back takes you back into here. That's pretty much all you can do into this section. The last but not least here is uh, the ability to do the actual actions themselves. Uh, the feedback, by default, it comes turned on to vibration. This vibrates every time you launch the application or you actually interact with the bars. Um, I find this to be a little bit too harsh, so I turn it off. You obviously have the option of putting sound as well. Last but not least, you have the edit the action. So it takes a second for it to load all the applications that you have on your device. It gives you, by three section, you have the bottom bar, top bar, and left bar. Uh, sorry, the right bar and the left bar. So on the right bar, by default, you have open last app. You can customize it. This is the list of the functions that you have. Think all the way down to clear RAM. Everything after that is actually your list of all your applications, so you can make them as a shortcut. Uh, but the main application functions that you get, if you're not rooted, you have uh, go home, open the last application, open task manager, and I think that's pretty much all you can do if you don't have root on your device. And of course, all the other functionalities do come with root. Uh, it's easier to add more functionality, so I wouldn't be surprised to see more functionalities added down the road, uh, even without root privileges. So currently, it seems more slanted toward root. So if you have root, this will work beautifully for you. Uh, so first thing I have here is open last application by swiping up on that area. Swipe down on that area will close the application and take me home. Swiping away will open the last uh, open task manager. So basically, just doing this. It's no different than that. But again, it does that with one uh, one swipe of a button, and it will work almost on anything on your device when it, while running. So the beauty of this is if you're playing a game or something like that, and you just want to close something, um, and you, the orientation just works better for you that way. Uh, long pressing, you know, double tap, of course, all of those functionalities, you can customize them. Um, and then what I also find very, very nice to do, you could also do, is if you swipe away, swipe left, I can change that. And I don't want to show here, I'll go down to, where is it, Google search. So I just activated it to be Google search. I can go home. I don't have it showing in the notification. That's why we don't see it. So from here, I can just swipe to the left and I have Google search turned on. I can, uh, you know, actually, let's do that. Swipe left, go Google search, swipe down, close it, go home. So very easy, very functional. Currently, the only way to get navigation layer is to either download it from the actual thread that I gave you guys in the link or the description below the video here, or you can join the Google Plus community and download it straight from the Google Play Store. That's the only way to get it since technically the application is in beta and still being developed. But even in the current form, it works pretty well on the device. Um, I would have hoped to have more application function as far as, you know, different things you could do. Currently, as you guys saw, seems to be slanted more towards root, uh, but I'm sure it's easier to just add more functionalities. And if you interact with the developer and contact them through Google Plus community, I'm sure you're able to influence some of the main features that come out throughout the application. I like the the effort as far as the way the application was put together, the interaction. I like the fact that you can go with, you know, right and left and the bottom. 
again, for me, Lobotum wasn't something I would be comfortable using, but uh, overall, for a switching type of an application, launching type of an application, it's very nice. Uh, the shortcut just to launch Google now for me is pretty simple. Since I'm using Nova Launcher, I don't have the ability of having, you know, swipe to the right and I get my, you know, uh, Google search. So other than that, I think overall it's coming along very well and I hope the developer has more functionalities and more features and hopefully we'll see uh, a lot more from this developer. Hope you guys like this. Like, let me know what you think. Uh, like and subscribe to this channel and as usual, like and subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys next Tuesday.